Hey, hey, it's old roommates time. Today on the show, 80s music videos from Wham. So grab those itty bitty shorts and join <laughs> us. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Brian. And Christina. And welcome to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. Mm -hmm. Uh, Today, (laughs) it's very exciting, we are recording at What Cheer Writers Club in the podcasting studio spot. Um, Old Roommates was recorded... Oh, I just... Why do I do, See, I I do don't, the same I do thing? The I same thing every time. Same time and, last. So we were, we were supposed to read this this um, disclaimer. We would make terrible this like, thing. I know, and, and I just already kind of destroyed it. But basically, um, what Cheer Writers Club is a nonprofit supporting Rhode Island's content creators. It's a great place. Uh, visit them online at whatcheerclub.org dot org, or visit the club headquarters at one sixty Westminster Street in downtown Providence, uh, which is where we are now. What Cheer Writers Club is not responsible for any content produced in the club studio, Christina, because of you. Oh, that was yes. a necessary disclaimer. I will say that's up. probably the smartest thing they ever did was write that little line in there. <laughs> because I think you're a loose cannon, as I've mentioned before. I could very well be. But this club is great. We love it. It's on. Jody is amazing. Oh, my and gosh. It's so, it's so yeah, great. It's really Especially fun. if you're like a writer mm-hmm. or... You know, so kind an of artist of some podcaster. sort. Podcaster. And they always have events. Check them out. It's a great place. Yeah, they really are. So, Wham! Did you write down the dates? Did you write down the dates of these? 84. Well, every time I do it, you, like, look it up and it's different. Well, I, at least you do it. I didn't even look it up. Wham! was 1984 and Careless Whisper, I wrote 1986 and I crossed it out. So, I think that's not true. All right, let me see. 19... Oh, no. Yeah, that's, I, I had 1986 and I crossed out, but I don't know what happened there. All right, well, let me just quickly just look it up. Oh, should we start with Careless Whisper or Wake Me Up Before You Go Go? Oh, yeah, we go, didn't go. really talk about that. So we're, we're doing Careless Whisper and Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. Um, mm-hmm. Let's start with, um, I guess we can start with Careless Whisper. <laughs> okay, Careless Whisper, um, 1984, July. Oh, so they're both 84. Um, wait a moment. <laughs> Let's right, do Wake Me Up Before You Go Go for us. We're, we have it in the brain. Okay. Okay, May of 84. All right, okay. Cool. So, so 84 is the year. Um, I was 12. Oh my gosh. 12. I was not 12. All right. Um, so <laughs> my... I was a like a sophomore in high school. So my connection to Wham is. Um, they were like the fun band. So fun. Didn't know a whole lot about them. Um, and nope. I don't, but Christina, you have to help me because I don't remember. Were there ever rumors of them being gay? Yes. Okay. So they were, there were definitely a lot of talk about it. And if you watch the video, you will understand exactly why. Well, that's, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to jump into the now so soon. I right. guess I'm talking about them because. Yes. <laughs> there were there were lots of there were lots of rumors about it, and then he um, eventually came out after that incident in the park. Right, and um, you know he kind of addressed that when he he ended up going on like CNN or somewhere yeah. and like kind of you know addressed all of it, and he you know talked about how he was specifically ambiguous, like he he wanted he, he just he didn't want to be labeled as any one thing but there were lots of um chatter about it yeah yeah again christina i want to focus on the then that's what well, uh, then <laughs> well it's not is. then it's well, 90 it 90 something is as then oh my god up, christina the point of this podcast 1998 is when he had the interview you asked if I'm there talking, were rumors oh yes. my god but i mean all right i guess there's not a way to do this because poor mike oh my god i almost said michael jackson george Michael is no longer with us. Correct. Um, Andrew, Otherwise, is Andrew Rig- Rigby? He is. He's still around, and he's right. actually. Um, he recently wrote a book ah. about his Wham experience, and huh. um, it, yeah, because I was kind of looking it up, and um, he had. I don't know when it was recorded. It was somewhat recent 
that he tells the story of last Christmas of like when writing. It's a video. Ah. It's actually kind of amusing. Okay. Like he looks good for an older man. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess my point with that is um, Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, just a fun song. Um, I guess, well, we'll talk to, about Carol's Whisper later. Uh, but they didn't have any real register. They didn't really register to me. And I, because the reason why I asked about like the then, if they were rumored to be gay, like, <laughs> because, um, like, it is funny. Like, I don't, I, cause I don't remember too much of the gay conversation. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I would have because right. it was such a part of my life and, you know, being bullied and, or though. 12, I feel like a lot of, most of the bullying was over, I yeah. feel like, yeah. It was just when I was, like, younger. But, um, but yeah, I guess I, because I guess I, you know what, if I, I feel like if I had heard that, I would have, I almost would have been more drawn to them. Of course. Like, oh, people like me, or stuff that I'm exp- feeling or experiencing. Mm-hmm. But, um, so that's why I wasn't, I couldn't remember. Well, what's your take on Wicked Before You Go-Go, the video or the song? Um, I loved it. I, yeah. The song, I mean, what's not to love? It's just so happy and fun. And it actually, it makes, it made, it actually makes me laugh every time I hear it or, uh, you know, all those many times that I hear it now. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of when I, well, I lived with my mom, obviously. I was like a sophomore in high school mm-hmm. and she wasn't really much into pop culture. Yeah. But she made me laugh one time when she wrote a note that she wanted me to wake her up. Before she I did go. not. She wrote, wake me up before you go, go. And it was like. No. And I think of it every time. Oh you met my, my mom. God, you know my I mom. Know. So it was it just not like her to do no. something like that. So it always makes me laugh. And it's just sort of like, I feel like that song just like brought joy. Oh, it is. Right? It and is. then when you watch the video, it, it still brings you joy just watching it. It is one of those things, though. So now we're getting into the now. Yes. I mean, this is the gayest video in the world. I think I wrote he that He slaps down. his ass. I mean, the yellow so gloves. So gay. It's so gay. The yellow gloves, p- hot pink sweatshirts, right? Um, Little white tiny itty bitty cutoffs. Shirts. The cutoffs. cutoffs. The hat Two-tone that Andrew shorts. originally was yes. wearing. Um, it, yeah, I mean, this all, it was all gay. And they were. The gayest video. Ever. Insanely popular. Yes. How does that happen in the world? Like, where... Um, a boy is gay. He mm-hmm. gets bullied. But pop stars exhibit all these well, things and they're like but popular. Here's, but here's the I thing. I don't get it. He didn't come out. Like he didn't come out till way later. And I think that that was part of it. And it says, I wrote next to so gay. And I said, not out yet, but who was he fooling? But <laughs> I, I think that it, there was, I, th- I think it was an interview that I had read with Andrew Ridgely. Okay. And they were talking a little bit, you know, he was talking about like um, George Michael and when he came out to him and things like that. I think it was, it must have been some sort of something about his book. Was Ridgely gay? No. Oh. No. But he came out to him and I, and he said that he was nervous about coming out to the public because he thought it would affect his, um, you know, like the record sales yeah, and things. Yeah. So it wasn't it prob- like... I hate to say it probably would It would totally yeah. have. So I think that the bullying then. was there yeah. Yeah. then. And that's I see what evident you're saying. Yeah. because he wasn't saying, here I am, a gay man. I mean, he was still kind of, you know, looking like he was maybe a gay man yeah. or whatever. And But he wasn't saying, yes, I'm a gay man. And I think that's kind of the bullying part of it. Yeah. The ch- um yes, thank you for explaining that. Because I was really like, how come like more kids weren't given a pass mm-hmm. at Wham's success, like gay kids? Right. Like it's like I mean, this video is so, so gay. Is so I mean, gay. it's like it is up there. I wrote Olivia Newton John. I wrote coral sweatshirts, yellow gloves, two tone cutoffs, earring <laughs> earrings. But I did write uh, George Michael has really nice legs. He did he has have like really nice, nice tan things. legs yes. and the smile. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's almost too much. It's, uh, his, his teeth are too. I found white. I found his eyebrows to be worrisome. And the hair. I mean, everything about him was so exaggerated. Right? Yes, the big eyebrows, yeah. the big teeth, yeah. the hair was yeah. like Farrah Fawcett hair. Yes, it was. Yeah. So not only is this like a very gay video, but it was also super eighties. Um, I do, so. I don't mean to go negative already. Oh, boy. Here well, we go. Well, so I'll tell you, no, wah, what wah, I did wah. love. I have a couple of, um, Yeah. The lip syncing is atrocious. Yes. Yes. Agreed. 
even when they're getting it right, it's bad. Mm-hmm. Like, because there's some, like, blooper parts which are very, very funny. That, that was, I said that my favorite part were the, there were, like, Little three bloopers. Yeah. bloopers that were in that really With the cute. girls clapping and then yes. bumping, sort of, like. And he bumps into them. Yeah. And then at the end, he's, like, standing there, like, not knowing what to do and, like, kind of laughs. laughs. Wicked cute. I love yeah. that. I love those. Uh, but the lip syncing is pretty horrible yeah it is horrible i was that i certainly don't remember maybe it's because now it's like we have so many lip syncing shows right. I and mean, there's a lip sync battle as rupaul's drag race that's been on for a million years mm-hmm. but it's like then it's like i mean lip sync it's your own song and you how do you not lip sync well to your own song yeah it's it was a little bit odd yeah but it is joyful it's joyful however yeah one of my negatives the audience looks bored the audience actually looks <laughs> bored. I'm like, this is like a joyful, fun, they're bebopping all over the place. And the audience is sort of swaying and, and clapping, but bored looking, which I thought was really interesting. <laughs> um, the Choose Life. I didn't research this at all. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I There's a think... coffee emergency, no. friends. You know, like some smelling. All right, so... Here's what I do. I don't think food and beverage are allowed in the studio. No, beverages. Food's Jody. Not. Food, no. Jody. Be- beverage, I've already asked. Okay. Beverage is just coffee. Beverage is, food don't is not. Don't spill it on any of this stuff. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts, and I get a black original blend, hot coffee, and I get one shot. I only usually do one shot of coconut caramel, the Girl, Girl Scout flavor. Okay. It, I knew what did you it. Do? I knew it. No, because they always put. Because I don't like a lot of the flavor. Mm-hmm. It's like high calorie. They do like they'll do like four shots and something. And I think there's four shots in here. Oh, I know that's it might a be lot. too sweet. I'm gonna try. But wait, you know what? what? No, no. We're really going off on a tangent <gasps> over here. We will be getting back. Leave to the videos this in. in just Leave a this in because it's will. important. I will absolutely. They do have coffee there, so if you want to pour half of it out at the break and then pour half of that up and, and pour some of the black coffee that's up in the kitchen. You know what? It's fine. It's Sorry. Jesus, all that. Oh my God. Okay. No, because you just Crisis never... Crisis averted. No, coffee's he important. Took a sip. No, coffee's important. Christina drinks literally tea. literally just took a sip. It took a sip? No, because you... And then it's like, okay, No, because you, you have to... It doesn't even matter. Oh my God. You have to taste it. But, um... Great. Okay. Christina's a tea person. I'm having my tea right now. Good. Wait, I can't open my thing. Um, okay, so little bloopers loved it. Um, nice legs, but the okay, choose. Did we just talk about choose life? You said you didn't really understand it. What does that mean? Well, I think it was a political statement, but so it's, then it's anti-abortion. Maybe. No. See, I. Well, now, okay. So here we go. From looking yeah. from back here, it seems like from you know our middle-aged view. Yeah. It seems as though it's anti-abortion. But you know what? Maybe it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just something else. Choose life. Um, Choose to live your life the way you live it. Although he wasn't. You can buy it for thirteen ninety five on original official band shirts. Okay. Um, viewed her t-shirts. Okay. If you want to get the message, her first shirt, Choose Life. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no. It's a comment against war, death, and destruction. Oh, yep. there you go. Buddhist. It's a, it's, oh, a Buddhist it's, then. The shirt has been... That shirt apparently was inducted into the this Buddhist exhibit. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So there you go. There's there you a big go. difference right there. Glad I didn't spread that imagine, rumor. Um, well, I, know. I almost did. <laughs> so yeah, imagine a video right now being made and has "Choose Life" on it. Yeah, that would not work. Because oh, wait, does it say ch- "Choose Life" or it's "Choose Life," not "Choose, yeah, choose Life." life. This is but that's sorry. It's a feels bit, similar. Again, imagine. You know, someone making a video today with a yeah. Choose Life shirt on. I think that would cause problems. I agree. Because people don't know. We didn't know until five it seconds ago. It shook me ago. up when I saw that. Him dancing around in a Choose it Life. It shook you up before you go-go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, here all anything? day, oh, folks. God. All a- day. Anything else? I think, I think, I mean, it's only a three-minute video. It's a three-minute so video. I just have to say, like, I still loved it. And I loved it even more because I just kind of laughed at all the fashion and things. So... I- I didn't remember the, the bloopers, so I loved it more. I liked it more. I didn't love it. I liked it more than mm-hmm. I did before. Yeah. I'm rhyming um, and everything. Look at here. We are on fire. <laughs> so, and then the other part that was kind of funny was at the end, the very, very end, yeah. it says, um, go buy it. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? At yeah. the end, it has, like, a thing that says go buy it. Because, I mean, it was very green. It was, like, a very green kind of video. Yeah. But um, it wasn't, like, rough. But, like, at the end, it was kind of like... I hate it, to br- it's I a hate... thank you. I think it's a thank you. Go buy it. Yeah. That's right. I hate yeah. to bring this up, but um, if you ever were doing, like, an 80s historian music video on the use of neon colors and... Mm. Like compare this to the garbage of Dire Straits. Oh, you know, that concept, you, I'll never you let it really, go. I'll never let it go. Really? What year was Dire Straits? Was it before, or after? After this? Yeah. Eighty five, eighty six. I don't know. I don't know. Here we I, go I, again. I just can't. You're it's hitting a... nerves with people all over the place, there, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying all away right, from Dire All right, we're taking a break. We're taking yes. a break. We'll come back with careless, careless whisper. whisper. All right. Okay. That was like kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, I did that again. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Hey there, it's Brian and Christina. We just wanted to take this break to thank you for listening to Old Roommates, the only podcast that revisits pop culture through a middle-aged lens. Please subscribe to Old Roommates on iTunes, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts. And give us a rating and review while you're there. If you have any questions, comments, or observations, shoot us an email at oldroommatespod at gmail.com. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Old Roommates. Thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. Like slow grooving right. over here. We're back. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to mesh with our theme music because we're going to write from that. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, hopefully it works. We are back talking about Wham! videos. And Carol Whisper is Wham! It yes. is not George Michael. It is it, not. Regardless was... of what certain YouTube things You're right. Say, it's so right? true. So when they released it, they actually – it is, it is Wham! Yeah. Um, for sure. But what's interesting is they um, – because I was confused when I started watching it. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this a George Michael? Same. And they did a lot of research. When they released it, they actually released it in the U.K. as a George Michael <gasps> single. Did you know that? Ooh. Yeah. I don't know how that went over with Andrew, but as long as he got some cut, I'm sure it did I matter. often feel like Andrew got the short end of the stick. Yeah. Well, I mean, he wasn't listed as vocals. I think that that's the problem. Yeah. Like he was – you know, George Michael was vocals, and mm-hmm. that's always going to – end up getting most of the praise. You said something interesting earlier, too, because you said he's handsome. Like, you saw recent, something recent with Andrew Ridgely. Yes. Right, Ridgely? Mm-hmm. And you said he was attractive for an older person. Yeah. And you wonder, like, sometimes, like, well, maybe, maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it could just be you. But sometimes, like, you know, it's, like, separated from George Michael, like, is he an attractive man in his own right? Like, or is he just eclipsed from all the hair and eyebrows mm. and and tanness of George Michael. Well, he looks a lot different um, than I would have expected him to look. Oh, okay. Um, you know, he's, you know, gray, and he, I mean, he looks almost distinguished. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I think he's aged well. I mm. do. I, you should take a look at him. Well, I mean, I'm, think? Think, I mean but, I'm married, but I, you know, appreciate Well, he's that. not gay anyway. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Look, he's just disappointed a now. So much for being married. You should see the disappointment he had when he just, he's like, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. So, Careless Whisper. Anyway. So, um, oh, yeah. So, Careless Whisper, he, you know, funny fact, little fun fact. Mm-hmm. He, this was actually written by George Michael. And it is kind of based on a true experience of a relationship that he was in with a woman, and he and he cheated on her with an ex of his. So it was you know cheated on cheated on him with his ex girlfriend. Wow. And um and he wrote this song is almost like sort of like a you know apology slash confession kind of love letter or whatever to you know the relationship that didn't work out. So that was kind of That's, interesting. Wow. Yeah. That's an enriching. Some enriching facts there, Christina. There um, Don't so look it up. My connection, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my connection to this song is, um, I guess, just the fact that I was wrong about the lyrics. Um, what did you think they oh said? Oh, my God. For, it's so fun, though. 
decades, I thought it was, I've got these feelings, but I've got no rhythm. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And it's guilty feet. feet have got no rhythm. Got no rhythm. Yeah. But I thought it was, I've yeah. got these feelings, but I've got no rhythm. Well, it like is a nice funny balance because- of... You know, for yeah. all of these young folk that are listening, you know, it wasn't easy. It was not Thank easy. You say it, Christina. To figure preach. out what preach. these <laughs> songs were saying. saying. I know. You, if you were lucky, if you were really, really lucky, you would get a tape that had the lyrics written inside. Yeah. But that wasn't always the case. And nope. so you did. You had to listen to it. You had to rewind, 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 rewind. What the hell are they saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. Would you ever think it said guilty well, I did know the lyrics because I'm smart, oh my but God. Um, no, I didn't know it all the time, yeah. but I did figure it out eventually. Like, I'm, I think I was like well into my adulthood and I was like, oh wait, it's guilty. Like, you know, you like, you hear something else and it's like, wait, yeah. oh wait, you just hear it. You hear it suddenly. Um, yeah. So yeah, it wasn't, yeah. It was I will good. also say, um, we mentioned the thing about George Michael and being gay and coming out late. I mean, when around, so this is what, what did we say? 84? 84. 84. And so some years later, a few years later, um, his solo career, Faith and all that. But um, uh, what? No, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm just loved it. Yeah. I loved, like, Faith was one of my favorite. Um, is that the, the <laughs> it, was, it was one of my favorites. I had the CD. Yeah. And I wore that thing out. I yeah. loved it. I think I must have had the tape. Well, what's funny for me is the first job I ever had, like, was at the video store, which, which we've talked about. And my boss, Fran... Um, Fran Burble was her name and she had a poster on the other side of her office door of George Michael and Faith. Oh my gosh. And I remember being like, wait a minute. And at that point it was much more known. So this part, this I do remember. Mm-hmm. I mean like isn't he gay? Isn't he gay? But, you know, but she thought he was like the hottest thing and she's like, I've always I've always thought George Michael is the sexiest man alive. Yeah. And she's like, so from her, his he Wham was, days. He was so but sexy. The Not necessarily is, in Wham. Didn't, like, so I didn't that's, think, that's what I was going to say. I don't, yeah, I don't think he's, I don't know. I do think he he looks better in this video. I think. Um, A little bit. Still the teeth bothered me. The white, the so white, the white, teeth, white teeth. To me it was, was the like eyebrows. Glow in the dark teeth. Oh, that's interesting. I liked I um, I like this video um, more now than I did then. I think I think back then I thought it was a snooze. I probably changed it mm-hmm. more often than it was on. Uh, does that make sense? Whatever I said. So then, but like he would grab <laughs> like. But now watching it recently, it's like he was like grabbing the ropes and grabbing the so, pole yes. like very phallically, um, yeah. and it was um, in some ways it was very fun. Great lip syncing. Yes. Far better than with yes. before you go. He listened to your criticisms. Glad he did. Um, and also, this is what struck me very much more now because they don't do this much more now. Is um, <laughs> am, I, am I speaking English right now? <laughs> is, I didn't sound right, but I think it doesn't it's okay. sound like proper English. So logos. <laughs> They show mm-hmm. like he has logos in his in his hat, like all the um like the B roll, oh, like all this yeah. t- stuff on the boat and other stuff. He has logos on his hat. He has logos on his t shirts and right. sweatshirts. They don't do that anymore. No, you, know, well, you, know you what's never funny? see a logo. Well, no, if you do, you know that that it's company blurred. is being or paid. paid. Right. But I'm sure he wore a hat. Probably just said, "Oh, I like that hat," and put it on. Yep. And didn't think anything of it. And the company got free advertising, and they didn't, you know, have to pay anything. True. And it, it was, yeah, it was just the way that um, that life was. And you'll see that I see that a lot, even in like the sitcoms that we revisit and things like that. You'll see, you know, logos on boxes, like you know, whatever Cheerios or something. And it wasn't a big deal. And yeah. now everything has a, you know, a money sign attached to it. Right. True. Um, I liked the video back then. Um, Probably a little more than you did. Oh, okay. But I just, I thought it was kind of interesting. Just like, I like the storyline kind of videos anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, like the you know, the beginning, middle, end. I was a big fan of Wham, so I kind of liked just watching him. And um, and this time around, I, I was funny. It, it seemed so much shorter now. I'm like, I feel like, I'm like, whoa, I guess it was just like a, one or two scenes of the other woman. Of course, it's like, what, four minutes, right? Yeah. So um, I don't know what I was expecting, but it seemed so much shorter now. 
Um, I will say, not a big fan of the blonde actress that was in it. I didn't feel like she had, like... Was she the original girlfriend? I thought she had, like, the, reddish like reddish hair. Oh, I thought no? she had... The, well, the woman that she... That he cheated on had the long brown reddish hair. The woman he cheated No, on. the cheated with. Sorry, cheated with was the long blonde. Long. long <laughs> oh, my God. The long, curly, brownish hair is the woman that he cheated yes. with. Yeah. The girlfriend was more clean cut looking and blonde. Yeah. Like straight hair. Okay. I feel like she wasn't blonde, but it's okay. I think she was like redhead. Look we don't, we can look it up. I know. We look, look it, it up. up. But I will say, but, well, was it, you didn't, you didn't think she was a good actress? I just didn't think she was a good actress. I didn't, like, I felt like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, it's four minutes. Like, yeah. what can you do? But I'm like, I compare it to like the, the woman in the AHA video and she was like so, so good. So good. That's, that's true. And you know she what? just sort of like was sitting looking sad. Like, that's all she did the whole video. Well, I'm surprised. And then that... she had, like, a fake sort of mad. Like, I don't know. I wasn't convinced in any of her emotions. I'm surprised you the first thing that, out of your mouth. I'm like, I know Christine will bring this oh, up. Oh, here we go. The look on the woman's face in the mirror. Or, like, she... So, the she and George Michael have the, this little affair. Mm-hmm. The girlfriend walks in while the woman's at the makeup table or the mirror the vanity. Oh. And she's like... <laughs> and she looks at her like... That's uh-huh, right. Uh-huh, I, uh-huh. That's right. I did. <laughs> Been there, and done that, that. That's that was funny. Do you yes, want me to wake funny. him for you? And then, like, and then she so... storms out. Like oh, my... that's what I mean. Like she wasn't was... convincing. Well, the, like I don't know. I guess we can be brutally critical of her acting. You think? We can be because you for said change. it. If the bar is set with the aha um, woman. Then mm-hmm. this, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it's like they didn't really give her too much time to react. She just like walks away. I felt like. And I also think it's a really, um, when she's sitting in the plane window, you know, it's a piece oh. of cardboard. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's, they could have done a slightly better job. So <laughs> the budget was slightly higher, I yeah. think, for this video than the Wake Me Up Before You Go Go one. But um, I had the feeling like, like the boat was a friend's boat. You know what I mean? Well, like, the apartment, the helicopter, the aerial shot of... So it ends with him on the balcony going mm-hmm. in, back into the apartment and the helicopter, which to me is like, come on. Mm-hmm. Like he's like a man of wealth. Mm-hmm. And yet he just feels so yet bad. lonely. It's lonely at the top. Yeah. Maybe that's the message. Well, it's lonely at the top when you cheat on people. Yeah, cheating is bad. Um, what else can we say about this? Um, but no, what I was going to oh, say was oh, I think sorry. as far as the the actress, I felt like it was like a friend. <gasps> oh. And that they hired like a friend, like a, a friend starting out in the acting world. <laughs> and that was that. I feel like that's how a lot of things were probably made in the early days of video. Mm-hmm. Like why would you? Well, like the Cindy Lauper video is a perfect example, right? She yeah. She had like all the Her, co-workers, those secretaries right? and Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this, are we done? I think we're done. Do we have anything else to say? Wait, actress, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I did like the silhouette dancing. Oh, I didn't. You didn't like that? I liked it. I thought it was sexy. Um, I'm not a fan. So there's one scene where, um, in Careless Whisper, it is a silhouette where they're both sitting up in bed. Like, mm-hmm. they're clearly in a position. Mm-hmm. And they both oh, look no, I don't soaking like... wet. And I'm like, ew. Yeah, yeah that's gross. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking <laughs> oh. about the dancing. When he was doing the dancing, like... <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the sh- like shadow dancing, I guess. I, and again, I liked his rope mm-hmm. work when he's like, dancing with the props and all you that. always have to bring it down really to do. that level. Always have to bring it down <laughs> to that level. So now, this is interesting. Because mm, I is? really <sighs> don't know what you're going to say right now. Oh, my about, gosh. Okay, so... As you know, fa- uh, faithful listeners yes. of Old Roommates, we are going to pick one Wham! video for the vault of pop culture's best music videos. Mm-hmm. I wish, you know, yeah. We have to have a running, I should keep a running list. We need a running list of what's in because our vault. this is joining and Renee, iconic. You know, our, one of our number one fans, yeah. Renee Z, yeah. on Facebook. our Facebook yeah. page, if you're not a fan there, please yeah, this is where, we have so much on Facebook. Yeah. Like, you're missing out. 
But if um, so, she she suggested we should have like you know kind of like this running list battle of the champions battle whatever. yeah and like a battle maybe like at the all end the of ones the year have... or maybe um, yeah we'll we'll have to do something like that I think I like that idea. Yeah, I mean, she it's, had a great idea. She has great idea. She sends us emails all the time at oldroommatespod at gmail dot com. It's challenging because what we try, we do try and play fair with these battles mm-hmm. because we try and do like, okay, so it's Cindy Lauper videos today, or it's like women in women in peril with like right. you know love is a battlefield and Papa don't preach and um, party videos or rebellion videos. Mm-hmm. Not, so we've tried to do or animation in real life videos. So. We try and keep it pretty fair. I don't know how it would work with the championship, but we could. We Wait, could. We'll figure something. We but can figure something out. Getting back to this episode. Yes. This is tough because one of these videos will join such esteemed classics as Love is a Battlefield. Mm-hmm. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah. And take on me. This, so. Yeah. And, we're going to say it. Sledgehammer, right? Wait. Sledgehammer. Yeah, yes. Sledgehammer, yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. Hair, so um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, are we gonna say we'll say it at the same time what we think? Yeah, let's do it. One, two, two three. three. Careless Wake whisper. Wake me up before you go. Go. Careless whisper. So what? What is, do we do? I guess we just burn them both. So, <laughs> right. Let's talk about it. So, why do you feel like careless whisper should go into the vault? Lip syncing is a hundred times better. There's a plot. You know, old roommates, we tend to like stories, Christina. I do. You're right. Um, and I'll, as much as I miss the Andrew Ridgely mm-hmm. factor of Careless Whisper, it seems like a more realized, a more stylized experience mm-hmm. with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Whereas Wake Me Up is like a party. And to an earlier point in a different episode, you said... There are better party videos. True. So um, I just feel like Careless Whisper, um, it's a strong song, strong video. It, is, it achieves a certain look and style, um, whereas Wham! is just a party. I don't know. So I chose Wake Me Up Before Your Go-Go because it is the 80s. Like, you look at that video, and there's no doubt when it was made, it has the hair and the style and the, you know, even the style of the music and the clothing. It um, is so fun. You want to sing it. You want to watch it. Like, you want to watch this video. You could watch this video over and over again, and it would be fine. Like, it would be just fun. You'd probably see other things, you know, the different things that come up on multiple viewings. With Careless Whisper, I feel like you said it before, like it was kind of boring. What? When you, when you first Wait a minute. watched it. When you first I, watched it. I said it. that? Oh, in the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. Then. Then. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Maybe you should like lay off that coffee. Um, it's because I it haven't was, had it. It was just like, I mean, it was a st- like, fine. The guy, you know, cheated on his girlfriend. Fine? No, it's not fine. But like, it's like nothing new. You're not bringing anything new to the table. Oh my he, God. you know, and now he ended up alone. Okay, great song. I agree, but I think the video was like okay. The acting was like so so. I didn't feel like I could, would want to watch it over and over again. Um, whereas I think the Wham video I would, and I think that it's like fun and fun to watch, and the bloopers are really fun. What do we do right now? Because you're not convincing me. I'm sorry. So you know what's you know what's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. What we're going to have our video poll. Okay. We're going to see what the um, what the listeners. This is so the this first is time be this t- has ever this happened. This is the first time. This is going to be yeah. a tiebreaker because usually yeah. your vote doesn't really matter. But <laughs> oh my god! Well, because it's I'm totally done. Just kidding. It's, like, it's, it's already done. 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 But now, right. so the yeah. vault is open. Yeah. The videos are sitting on our table right now, and um, after the video poll, we are going to you, you are going to be the deciding vote. So that's what's going to happen. Yeah, and so it's all on you. It's all on you, listeners. So good luck and vote, and don't make it a tie. In in fairness, Christina, to keep talking, I'm going to play a little snippet of Wake Me Up okay. before you go. Because we did play a snippet of... Um, well, I think they all know it. Because that's the thing. Everybody knows Wake Me Up before you go. Everyone knows the other one, too. Yeah. They didn't know, like, some of the lyrics.
That's enough. Oh, of that. come on. <laughs> Yeah, see, you're you're nervous now. You're nervous. He was bebopping around and got nervous. All right, we're leaving it to you guys. We're leaving it to you. And that is it for us in this episode of Old Roommates. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to Old Roommates on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Give us a rating or review while you're there, please. We love our ratings. If you have an idea for the show, a suggestion, or a comment, email us at oldroommatespod at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Old Roommates. This is Christina. This is Brian. Thanks again for listening. (laughs) Till next time.